Hey there, Leo. Good afternoon and welcome to your mid-July tarot reading. It's great to connect with all of our Leo soul family members out there. Leo, it's a beautiful day in the world. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday, July the 14th. Time on my end is about 11.09 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So Leo, whether your sun sign is Leo or your moon or rising sign is Leo, could have Leo in your Venus. You may be here checking up on a Leo in your life. Others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here. Something caused you to just click on this tarot reading. That's your intuition speaking to you, so trust those energies. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. I hope you enjoy my energy and my style of tarot reading. Moving forward as a tarot reader, I'm always into the energy of trying to create the best possible outcome. The energies that show up are the energies that show up. But at the end of the day, Leo, you're the creator, right? So why not try to create the best possible outcome? Uh, Leo, let's get started with your tarot reading here. Um, I want to mention, this is the second tarot reading that I've done for Leo this month in July. So if you haven't had a chance to watch the first tarot reading, I encourage you to go to my playlist and watch Leo's reading. In that reading, I provide Leo your astrological forecast for July, which is... We look at the month of July and we see which planets are moving into which specific houses. Depending on the planet and the house that it moves into, it's going to bring you an entirely different kind of energy. So it kind of gives you a big picture look of what's ahead of you this month. So I encourage you to watch that tarot reading if you haven't watched it yet. Okay, Leo, for today, for your tarot spread, I'm going to do the Celtic Cross tarot spread. Before I get into that, I want to spend just a few minutes. I want to talk about Leo traits. We're going to put the spotlight on you. So at the end of the day, how do you know if you're a Leo, right? What, I want to know if my sun sign is a Leo. If you're born between the dates of July the 23rd and August the 22nd, it means that your sun sign is Leo. So you have sun energy, moon energy, and rising energies, right? It can get a little conflicted and a little bit confusing at times. So how do we separate, differentiate those readings? Here's a good analogy for you. So if you meet somebody for the first time, right? It's that first impression thing. You're likely going to be showing them your rising sign energy. And then once you get to know that person much better, right? Then your sun energy begins to come out, right? They, they begin to see who you, your true colors, who you really are at your core. And then, you know, assuming that person comes into your circle of close-knit friends, right? That you're opening up to emotionally, right? Now we're talking about your moon energies. Those energies are likely to surface and be seen. So that's kind of how the energies work. And if you're following tarot, it's wise to check on your sun sign tarot reading, your moon energy as well as your rising, because you may find at any given time, some of those energies may resonate stronger than other times. Okay, Leo. So if there's three words that sum up who Leo is in the world, you would be considered the creative, the romantic, and the hero, right? Leos love to show up and be the hero. Uh, your element is fire, so your fire sign. Colors for Leo are gold, yellow, and orange, right? Ro colors of royalty. Day of the week for Leo is Sunday, Sunday, ruled by the sun. Your ruling planet is the sun. Greatest overall compatibility in terms of other signs. And at the end of the day, this is just an opinion from an astrologer, Aquarius and Gemini. Strengths for Leo, you're creative, you're passionate, you're generous, you're warm-hearted, cheerful, and you have a great sense of humor. You love to laugh. Weaknesses, Leos can be arrogant, stubborn, self-centered, lazy, and inflexible, right? Sometimes we can be stubborn. We can get an idea in our head and just stick with that idea. Leo's likes, you love theater, you love taking holidays, vacations, having fun, fifth house energy, being admired. Leo's like expensive things, bright colors, and having fun with friends. Dislikes for Leo, being ignored, facing a difficult reality, not being treated like a king or a queen. Okay, Leo, so there's just some good general information that I want to share with you about Leo's energy. Let's get into your tarot reading now. And let's see what energies my guides and your guides feel would be best suited for Leo to hear taking us into your reading. I'm going to pull an affirmation card for you to take us into your tarot reading. So let's just see which affirmation my guides and your guides feel is best suited for Leo to hear taking us into your mid-July tarot reading. Okay. 
beautiful affirmation. Let me hold it up for you here. It says, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me, right? So we're in the energy of making choices, making decisions, right? And, and I can use two different motivating forces to make that choice and make that decision. I could be motivated by fear, right? Which is a limiting energy. Or if I'm clear and I'm open and I'm connected, I can be open to manifesting with love, right? Going the direction of love. And this is what it's pointing out, is the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. So interesting, that's a beautiful affirmation. Let's get into your tarot reading and see where it applies. I'm gonna use my Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. And I'm gonna pull two energies from this deck to take us into your reading. First energy is gonna come through as present energy, maybe representing your energy presently right now. Uh, for others, this may represent the energy of the matter at hand for you from mid-July. So we have recognition and reward. Uh, this is equivalent to the Three of Pentacles energy. It's also representing, I mean, it's the three, right? So it's representing the, the you know, the energy of co-creating, uh, partnerships, alliances as well. But you may be in this energy, right? If you're Leo, if I, I'm looking for my recognition, I'm looking for my reward. Let's, uh, let's pull another energy, see what comes through. This is gonna show up as the challenging energy for you in the month of July, mid-July. Okay, tell us about the challenging energy for Leo, please. Okay, the challenge for you, Leo, is love begins, right? The challenge is a beginning right here, a loving beginning. So we could be talking about the beginning of a relationship. The beginning, the beginning of love. So we have two hands, both male and female hands, on this cup you know, sharing a cup of love right here. So beautiful beginning. And this is the challenging energy for you. Uh, and here you are in this energy right here, waiting to receive some type of recognition, some type of reward over something you've done. I don't know, let's find out. Let's see what Leo's done. Let's get some clarification on these two energies. I'm changing decks and I'm switching over to my Crystal Vision tarot set. Tell us about recognition and reward for Leo, please. Knight of Pentacles, here's your recognition, here's the reward, feeling your value, feeling your worth. This is a very independent energy. Uh, so this could be work-related as well. You know, Pentacle energy, Nine of Pentacles, could be recognition and, and a reward of, at work, You know, some type of maybe a raise or a promotion. Please clarify, Nine of Pentacles for Leo. Okay, we've got a clarifier coming out. So attached to the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups energy represents the energy of, I'm focused on this cup right here, but when my focus is here, I'm unaware of these three cups that are behind me right here, right? And I feel like maybe this is, these three cups are representing the energy of the recognition, you know, in the reward. And here my focus is on something entirely different, right? And when my focus is right here on this cup, it, get, it puts you in the energy of feeling like there's more out there, right? For you to connect your energies with, right? To be able to feel and experience in life, that there's more happiness there. Um, let's pull a couple more clarifiers. I feel like it's all about, you know, changing your focus, you know, changing your focus, look, and you're going to change your focus towards, I'm feeling my value, I'm recognizing, recognizing my value. Um, 
Let's pull a couple more clarifiers. Tell us more about recognition and reward for Leo, please. Recognition and reward for Leo. Wheel of Fortune wanted to come out. So changes coming in. These could be changes. This could be your recognition. This could represent the energy of your reward coming into you. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Please clarify. Wheel of Fortune for Leo's energy. Yeah, too many energies here. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Leo. Okay. So you have the hangman energy attached to the Wheel of Fortune. So we have changes that are wanting to come in. But you're being represented by this energy, Pisces energy, hanging suspended by my ankles, waiting to make a choice, waiting to make a decision. Right? Interesting. These energies are coming in attached to recognition and reward. You know, some of you you are you're in the energy of hangman. It's like I'm waiting around for this energy to come in, but I'm aware that it's coming. Notice the illumination taking place around his head. And what is it that you're aware of? You're aware that there are changes that are coming in. Wheel of Fortune. The Zodiac Wheel is spinning and it's going to spin off changes to you. Interesting. Okay, let's move down to Love Begins. The challenging energy. Please clarify Love Begins for Leo. Okay, we've got three energies coming in. To clarify, this energy right here, which is the beginning, a loving beginning. Could be the beginning of a relationship for some. First clarifier comes to us is the chariot card. So the other person on the end, on, on the other end of this relationship right here, they may be a cancer. Uh, the chariot being pulled by a black horse and a white horse. The black and white horse represent duality, the yin and yang, masculine, feminine energies. So it's the balance of both of these masculine feminine energies that bring forward this beginning right here. It's the chariot pulling forward this beginning. Okay, so attached to this beginning, you have the three of wands, right? So something new is coming into your, I mean, the chariot is bringing in a new adventure right here, looking at the journey that lies ahead of you. So you have something new, right? A new journey coming into you. Uh, she takes out a crystal ball and holds it up to the sun because I want to see if I can get an idea of what this journey looks like. Interesting. Let's pull a couple more clarifiers. Please clarify love begins. I mean, it's almost like if you're Leo, you know this beginning is coming. I feel like you can feel it, right? But still, you want to get an idea of what this, what this beginning is going to look like. Please clarify the hermit. Please clarify the Hermit card. We've got Virgo that just showed up, popped into your reading here. Please clarify Virgo's energy. Okay. All right, so coming in to clarify, love begins we're talking about the beginning now you have the hermit energy so virgo showed up the other person may be a virgo for you uh so this is representing your energy right of going in going inward right i'm i'm getting away from the noises and the distractions in my life going inward i'm taking some me time right and what i'm going to focus on is the spiritual wisdom right thinking about my spiritual growth my spiritual journey Right, attached to this loving beginning right here. 
And then coming in next, you have the Three of Pentacles. Second time the Three of Pentacles has come in for you. Partnerships, alliances, your ability to be able to co-create with somebody else. I feel like this is part of your recognition and reward. Some of you may be teaming up into some type of partnership. Bottom of the deck, we have the Lover's Card, Gemini's Energy. So this could be love and connection for some of you. Let's move down to Focus on Energy. Tell us about Focus on Energy for Leo, please. Tell us where Leo should be putting their focus. Please clarify the Six of Swords for Leo. Okay, so coming in to clarify where you should be putting your focus, you have the Six of Swords energy. So I've been in battle with these swords, and in this energy I'm choosing to lay down the swords and to turn my back and to walk the other direction. What direction am I walking towards? Uh, I'm walking towards love. Knight of Cups energy coming in. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy right here with this knight. He's bringing in an offer, right? And so you have an offer of love coming in from this knight that's coming in after you've had a chance to lay down the swords, to turn your back, and to walk the other direction. So, Leo, at the end of the day, what direction are you walking towards? I feel like you're walking towards love. You're walking towards connection. Some of you are walking towards a partnership, right? The ability to co-create with somebody else. Notice the rainbow above the hands. Okay, Leo, let's move over to the past. Tell us about past energies for Leo, please. Okay, past energy is coming in for you, Leo. You have the Six of Pentacles. This is a good energy. Your ability to give to others, right? And those energies that you give, they come back to you, right? In a very, very fair and a very balanced way. So in the past, you're in the energy, right? Of motivated for love, right? Just pure love. I want to do for others because it makes me feel good, right? King of Cups energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. These are past energies right here. So your motivation in the past has been good motivation. Uh, let's move up to strengths. Tell us about strengths for Leo, please. Okay, so coming in as your strength is your offer. <laughs> it's the offer of love coming in, Page of Cups. Uh, coming in as your strength, Page of Cups attached to the Six of Cups, representing the energy of somebody from your past. Right. So for some, we may have somebody from your past coming back to you, or you may be going back to them. It goes both ways, right? But Six of Cups energy is definitely representing the energy of somebody from your past. So in this time, we want to build for the long term, All right? So whoever this energy is in the past, it's somebody you feel good about, somebody you feel comfortable with, uh, somebody that you're comfortable opening up feelings and emotions with. Beautiful kind of energy to be able to co-create. And here you are together co-creating for the future. We're putting together a plan for the long term right here, right? And there are long-term energies coming in, showing up as your strength connected to this person in the past. Suggest or let's move over to the future. Tell us about future energies for Leo, please. Tell us about future energies for Leo. Attached to the future, you have Queen of Wands. So 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy right here. Queen of Wands energy coupled with King of Cups energy. It's a pretty good couple here, pretty good balance of energies. Let's clarify this Queen of Wands. Please clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo. Please clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo. Okay, coming in right next to the Queen of Wands, you have another Queen coming in. So the Queen of Cups. Interesting, so I'm looking at a lot of fire and water energy in this tarot reading. So some of you are gonna be connected to a water sign. Uh, Queen of Cups right here, coming in attached to the Queen of Wands. Attached to the Queen of Cups, you have the Three of Swords, right? So the Queen of Cups is getting over some type of heartbreak, right? Some type of sadness and grief. Uh, three of Swords attached to the Queen of Cups energy. So yeah, I feel like this Queen of Cups may have got her heart broken, right, in some way. There could have been a breakup, right? Could have been a split up. Uh, so this could be an opportunity to circle back around with this energy again, right? To reconnect and to be able to do it right this time. Uh, let's move down to Suggested Approach. Tell us about Suggested Approach for Leo, please. Tell us about suggested approach for Leo. What's being suggested is to get together. Two of Cups energy. Focus on your soulmate. Right? This is soulmate energy right here. And I feel like it's this energy that's coming in that's also part of the Three of Pentacles energy. Partnerships, alliances, your ability to co-create with soulmate energy right here. Let's clarify the Two of Cups. Please clarify the Two of Cups. Okay, judgment. So with judgment coming in attached to the Two of Cups, this is letting us know, right? This connection, this relationship, this is something that you've been in, been with before in the past, right? And I feel like there was maybe some type of split because we have the Three of Swords here, right? And the Three of Swords came in attached to the Queen of Cups energy. So I feel like the split likely impacted them more than it impacted you, right? Sadness and grief with that Three of Swords energy. So your suggested approach is, look, I should be focusing on love Focusing on the soulmate in my life and letting go of the judgments, right? Maybe there are some judgment energies of judgment that could be connected to the past right here. So, yeah, this is a reset for many of you. you know, the opportunity to, to, to be able to reconnect and to start again with this person right here. Um, let's move over to what it is you need to know. Please tell us what Leo needs to know, please. Okay, this seems very specific, Leo. You've got two energies. Here's what it is you need to know. You need to know you've got the energy of the magician working with you. So you can create and you can manifest anything in your life, right? And what is it you're creating and manifesting? The challenge, right? This loving beginning, the Ace of Cups, right? So you're in the energy of creating this beginning, possibly beginning for two, right? Recognize the two birds flying above the head of the magician. He's standing above a crescent moon, right? Representing unseen energy. I can create, I can manifest. Standing above a white dove. I'm gonna create and I'm gonna manifest whatever's in the highest good of everybody involved, right? I'm not just looking out for me. I wanna, I wanna create and manifest the highest good for everybody that's involved in this. 
interesting. That seemed very specific on what it is you need to know. Hopes and fears. Please tell us about hopes and fears for Leo, please. Four of Swords coming in. Please clarify the Four of Swords. Four of Swords coming in attached to the Moon card. So Pisces energy just showed up, right? So Four of Swords represents the energy of I need to take time to rest and recuperate, right? And what it, what it is I'm taking time to rest and recuperate from are the things that are a little bit confusing in my life. The things that make me feel like I'm out at nighttime, right? And when I'm out at night, I don't have the brightness of the sun to be able to see and feel my way around, right? I'm operating on the mood light. So I can't see things nearly as clearly as I normally could, so I have to feel my way around. So coming in as a hope, I'm hoping, right, to be able to and feeling like I'm in the dark. Potential future for Leo. Please clarify potential future for Leo, please. Ace of Wands, right? Here comes another beginning. Ace of Wands, creative, passionate beginning. I feel like you got some good passion coming to you, Leo. Please clarify the Ace of Wands for Leo. Okay. This beginning, wanting to come in, right? Eight of Cups, something I need to walk away from. Walking out of the water, water represents a lot of emotions and feelings. Difficult to do as she's reaching up to grab the tree, right? To sustain herself from what she's walking away from. It's in the energy of, I'm walking away from the fear, right? Uh, Nine of Swords energy, um, elevated sense of fear. But at the end of the day, it's, this is manufactured. This is all just fear that's, that's in your head, right? So you're in the energy where you need to walk away from the fear. You gotta put your focus on friendships. Three of Cups, maybe this partnership, this alliance. Look at the end of the day, maybe we're gonna come back together and we're gonna start off as just good friends. And at the end of the day, we're going to be making a choice, two of sorts. So you're in the energy of making a choice, whether or not you want to reconnect with this person, right? And maybe become friends again and then build upon the friendship, assuming things go very well. And now you can begin co-creating together. You can fall in love together. So beautiful energies here. Leo, I love your tarot reading. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. I think I'm done with this portion of your reading. I am going to do an extended. And I'll make the extended tarot reading available on Vimeo. So for those of you that are resonating with these energies, if you want to follow me over to Vimeo and, and continue to follow the reading to find out a little bit more, you can do so by clicking on the link found in the description box just below this tarot reading. So for clarifications, where do I want to go? Well, I feel like we have a lot to, that we want to ask about here. Uh, I want to start by clarifying recognition and reward. And then let's clarify the hanged man energy, Pisces energy. Uh, in fact, we want to clarify Pisces energy two times. You have it coming in as the moon energy as well. So we want to clarify this. And then I'd like to clarify the three of swords. I want to better understand the sadness, the grief, the heartbreak. What, whatever took place for this queen of cups energy here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And then I'd like to clarify the two of cups soulmate energies right here where you should be putting your focus on putting my focus on letting go of the judgments from the past regarding this relationship i feel like it's this relationship leo that's going to serve you very well in life um, and then i want to clarify six of swords walking away from something i want to clarify cancer's energy coming in as the chariot card and then i want to clarify this ace of cups beginning See if we can get an idea. Is this the beginning of love, the beginning of partnership, the beginning of friendship? It's a beautiful beginning, so it's good, but let's see if we can clarify this. And then I want to clarify the Three of Cups representing the energy of friendships and celebration as well. So, and then Leo, here you are, standing proud and tall right here in the bottom of the deck with the Sun card. Then I want to pull an energy from my tarot set called the Good Tarot, and I want to build upon this next chapter 
in your life. I want to build upon this partnership, uh, this alliance, this this friendship, this uh, relationship coming together and see what the energies look like moving forward for both of you. So that's everything that we're going to cover in the extended tarot reading. And I hope to see all of you over there. Thank you so much for being here. If, you're, if it's your first time you enjoyed this tarot reading, give me a like and give me a, a subscribe. Uh, I appreciate that. It's an opportunity to be able to build and to grow and to make more connections with each and every one of you. Uh, if this is if this reading's resonating and you'd like to request a personal tarot reading, send me an email at treeoflifetarot, the number nine at gmail.com. I'd love to connect with you and schedule a time to work on your personal tarot reading. Okay, Leo, wishing you all the very best moving forward. The month of the rest of the month of July looks exciting for you. Thanks for being here. Have a beautiful day.